some, what's some advice you have for people who are first timers at this conference? Oh, first time at a conference, don't worry about going to see sessions and papers. The real value of a conference, especially one like this, is meeting people and networking and actually making sure you meet the people you want to meet to speak to and actually making sure that people know who you are as well. It's those networks that you make, those connections you make with people that will stand you in good stead in your future career as people get, get to know you. Use Twitter. That's one thing. I think using the hashtag and getting to know people via Twitter, then you can use that as a good way. You know, if you're trying to find someone to eat lunch with or eat dinner with, you can use the hashtag and that's a good way to network. The sessions are are the key. That's kind of why we're here. But I think networking is 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 going to be a really a good opportunity is to, you know, get around the the stands and, and have a chat with people and yeah, get get stuck into the networking side of things as well. Well, it is quite confusing and EAA, as you well know, is a huge conference now. I think you need to spend a good 10 or 15 minutes with the uh, timetable and the maps and try and work out where you want to go <laughs> and then just keep asking people. <laughs> Do your homework, um, look at the book, decide what you want to see, try to figure out where the buildings are located. You may end up having to give up one or two of your first choices to hit your second and third choice or vice versa. So um, be really ready to run from one session to another. And my tip is to uh, walk outside of being the professional archaeologist and enjoy the location and the culture and uh, to meet people and to take advantage of the social events as well. Don't, don't take things too seriously. Um, nip in and out of sessions. Um, you know, see what uh, sparks interest and that's what I do. Try and ask questions, um, even if it's, it's a good way to, to sort of get into conversation with someone that even if you find intimidating, um, and even if you feel that you can't do it in the room at the time, you can go up to them afterwards and chat. And if you, it's a good opening line, a question after their talk. And most people, even people you find quite intimidating, are often really happy to help if you share an interest. I don't know. Like It's quite nerve-wracking when you first give a presentation or have to walk into a group of people that you don't know for the first time. But everyone is very nice and everybody is in exactly the same boat. So it's best to just remember that and go for it anyway. And pick your sessions wisely, but don't forget you can dip in and out and move switch sessions uh, and try and uh, use your time to do networking and speak to people because it's really valuable that, that time between the sessions when you get to chat with people. Try to read all the abstracts before you arrive. <laughs> um, I'd say just soak it in, go to everything that you can, um, and uh, exchange emails with people, start talking with people. Um, you meet so many fascinating people, so you just, uh, just yeah, soak it in. Yeah, just spend a lot of time with the program. <laughs> Make sure you don't miss what you really want to go to. Go to everything. Clone yourself. Go to everything. Um, it's big enough now. You can't do everything, and, and you there's multiple sessions at any one time. So you then have to be fairly selective and, and try to pick the things which either interest you professionally or help you professionally, and those things which are going to give you a mental boost that may not be directly relevant to the day job. Um, put aside the day for looking at the program. <laughs> have a think about what you really want to get out of it. Probably don't try and do too much, and. Uh, enjoy yourself in the in the social events as well. Mm -hmm.